Hey guys, welcome back. It's actually been a few days since I last did that last recording set. But I hope you guys enjoyed the few screenshots I threw at the end of the last episode to kind of give you an idea of what I did and just how big that desert was. It was as big as I thought. And I did get quite a bit of glass out of it. I ended up using the torch trick for most of it just to save on my shovel because I did eventually go and make a diamond one, so we're now down to 63 diamond in the house. But I think we're doing uh, plenty good on that. So, this is how much glass is left. I actually, basically I think I went into the desert with an inventory looking about like this. Maybe a few less shovels, I don't recall. And filled the entire thing with sand. And so when I came back, gave myself a few more furnaces, and got to be smelting like crazy. Woohoo! So, what I'd like to do now is kind of show you guys how we're doing with the tunnel. As I said, I wasn't sure how much I was going to get done without you guys, and I really only intended to do a little bit. And, well, then after I stopped recording that night, I got a little carried away, because, well, let me just show you. I've actually already got the lighting scheme just about ready to go. Everywhere you see a torch here on the floor, the block under it, that is where I'm planning on putting the glowstone. So, let's head on down. The tunnel looks a little dark now, but I imagine the glowstone is going to brighten it up a little bit. So, even if it doesn't, it's kind of a cool looking effect. It's very tunnel-like. If it's a little too dark, I might actually go ahead and where this one is in the ceiling, I'll also put a piece of glowstone, but again, we're going to need a lot of glowstone for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and walk on down. As you can see, this is starting to shape up real, real nice. It's looking good. One thing that's really cool is that thanks to the, all the white and the glass texture, it really just helps capture all the, all the light and brightens this whole thing up even though we're many blocks underwater. So yes, as I said, got a tiny bit carried away, but I figured what I would do is do this last little part here with you guys. And actually, as I was doing this off screen that night that I finished recording, a thought occurred to me that, hmm, you know, this could actually be kind of a nice look, just having water walls instead of glass walls. I don't know because it would certainly be a lot easier to get in and out. I actually have my bow and arrows on me tonight, so if anyone wants to say hello, we're prepared for them. Okay, good. No interruptions. Also, getting back into the tunnel at any point is nice and easy. Don't have to do the door trick like I did over there. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not opposed to the door thing. I kind of liked it. It was very much like an airlock. And leaving this whole thing open, I don't know. So I think for now, we'll just go ahead and close it all in. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to not really take back, but I guess correct some of the things I said in the last recording set, which would probably be in, I don't know, two, maybe three episodes back by now. And that was all the stuff about 1.8. So given that these were internet rumors, as I said a few times, it turns out that Notch had absolutely no intention of releasing 1.8 to the world after he showcased it at PAX, which I kind of had a feeling he might, because you kind of rush through to get a demo put together for a show, but you're not really going to have that as your final version. And that seems to be what they did. So, as I'm sure you guys already were well aware by the time you saw that episode, 1.8 is not out yet. Uh, it's actually been about three days since I last recorded, so it's Sunday now. Notch has been tweeting out how they're having their creeper party as they tear down the booth at PAX, so a little bit of a time frame for you guys there. So yes, this, I really do kind of like the glass. It's, it's really cool. And as I said before, the five in between should be smooth stone, and this will be glowstone. 
The only thing that I didn't consider when I started doing this is how am I going to power the rails? Because I can't put a redstone torch here and don't really want to mess with underneath. So not really sure how I'm going to do that. I might have to end up breaking out the block on either side just for balance and then throw the redstone torch here. Unless you guys know of some really interesting ways I might be able to get away with placing the redstone torch underneath and in the water. But yes, uh, more about the 1.8 update. I don't know how many of you guys actually watched the live stream Notch did from, I believe it was the first day of PAX, where there was the really grainy cell phone stream he did from his phone. And he was showing off all kinds of interesting stuff. I gotta say, I am very impressed with the new terrain generator. It's looking really awesome. The random towns, the NPC towns, are looking really impressive. I really do hope that he does end up putting everything he wants to put in 1.8 in 1.8 and doesn't have to do a multiple release because, I don't know, I'm feeling impatient. Some of the other things that were there, finally got to see an Enderman, but again, it was so grainy, I couldn't really make it out. All I know is there was, there was this thing, and he looked at it, and then he turned away, and then it teleported in front of him, and I guess it was angry? I don't know. <laughs> but it did look really cool, and I am still looking forward to 1.8 and trying it out. You're up there. Never mind. No, oh, wolves. Fun. So let's see, what else? The update's not yet happened, as we all know. Or maybe it has by the time you're watching this episode, who knows. It's probably going to be about a week until you guys see this, I imagine, given my release schedule. Uh... One thing I did recall hearing in the stream is that while 1.8 is not out yet for me at this point in time, is that he did say it should be fairly soon, which I'm hoping means no more than a week or two. But if it means getting all the 1.8 features in the 1.8, the 1.8.0 update, then I'm willing to wait a little bit longer. Let's see, something else. Uh, again... This will probably be about a week ago, by the time you guys see this. Some preliminary drawings and little sketches I made of what I want to do for in here and back under Resurrection Station for our mine track station and our mine tracks here. You guys recall I've got the staircase ready to go over there for when we got the tracks heading down to the base. I actually spent a bit of time today working out how that was actually going to work, trying to make the sketches reality. And I think eventually we will head off to the lab world, and I'll show you guys how that was coming along. I think I just about have everything together that I want. I think everything that I had in my sketch is going to work. There were a couple things that aren't quite as I wanted. Let me go ahead and put this away. I don't think we're gonna need glass for a while. And I am feeling pretty happy about what I've come up with so far because this has actually been entirely my own design, more or less. I've copied a couple things that I remember seeing in the past, but the only thing that I've actually gone and looked up is how to correctly pass a redstone torch signal downwards. I had to actually go recheck the Minecraft wiki and figure out how that all worked. Now see, something I forgot to mention last time I showed you guys this, this as I was kind of rushing through it. This redstone torch here. Well, there used to be coal right here, and I swear to God, this game likes to trick me with coal, because two blocks below this, there was lava. <laughs> and being the careless guy I tend to be when I'm off screen, I just was like, oh, give me the gravel, or gravel, give me the coal, give me the coal, and let me jump and get it. Psh! Damn it! 
It was irritating. Fortunately, I managed to have a bunch of this dug out too, so I managed to jump up, jump out here, and just barely managed to jump forward, so when I died and all my stuff exploded, it all ended up here, so I didn't lose everything in the lava, which is really good, because I was really not wanting to make another diamond sword. That, especially after having only used this one as much as you see now. So, you might be wondering, why am I back in the cave base? Well, I wanted to show you guys, I finally spent some time and went to the... I don't even know what we're calling that, but... The way, way, way back cave. The one way, way back there. And I finally mined up all the resources that we had come across. And I think it's kind of official now that I have more iron than I know what to do with. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe it's time to just start building with iron blocks because this is ridiculous. I've got at least another stack of iron blocks between the mini station in the tunnel and up in the house. Got so much coal. It's like, I will never need coal again. At least for a while. Didn't find too much redstone, but I think I took most of it with me back to the mini station. And I have not yet fixed the arrow factory. I did read all your comments on that, and... I think there was one vote each way, so thanks guys for all that feedback. But since I kind of wanted to do it too, that's two to one, so the factory will be coming back as soon as I can find time for it. And the other reason I brought us down here is that I wanted to show you guys a little bit of something that I found while I was just grabbing a little bit of, I believe it was redstone, maybe a little iron. And that would be to show you just how much this cave loves me. <laughs> and as I said, I have said before, I have not mined a single block of diamond off screen, and I intend to keep that up. So, yes, another six to add to our collection. Yeah. <laughs> this cave has been wonderful to us, guys. And we will finish it. I just kind of want to take care of some of these things first. I guess something else that I wanted to mention that I completely spaced on, other than the fact that I apparently missed some redstone and didn't realize it, was when I was talking about the 1.8 update being delayed, that given it's de being delayed, that actually gives us a bit more time to work on some of these projects that I wanted to do and finish up. So, depending on how long things take for Notch to finally clean up the 1.8 demo he had at PAX into the 1.8 release that we're going to get, we might actually be able to proceed with doing the very first move I want to do. Which will be great because it will finally give the minecart station that we're going to put under Resurrection Station its first true use. Well, multiple use, I guess. Because it's definitely going to be coming to this cave. Because I, the idea right now is to take it to the cave base because we're going to want rapid travel to the portal. But again, not really sure how much time we've got, so depending on how things go will completely depend on how f much further we take all these projects I want to work on. Now, I believe... Oh, I love this place. I keep seeing Etho and Avidia and all sorts of people, all these other LPers I watch. Well, Minecraft video makers and LPers. I should stay correct with my naming conventions. <laughs> Come here. All these guys talking about, oh my god, it's so hard to find slime. You gotta download this program and find out which chunks they spawn in, and oh, it's so hard, you gotta do this and that and the other, and you gotta set up a trap, and I don't know. I guess it's just another part of this cave being really, really good to me. Got tons of diamond, tons of slime, and 
I've never really had to go hunting very hard for either, as I don't know if you guys know this, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I've never actually built a strip mine in this world. Everything I've gotten has come directly from caves. And I'm... The hell? I do have animals in here. I heard something walking on grass. I'm like... Well, you heard me. I was like, the hell? Hey, we've got squid! And metal pig's mushrooms are growing out of control. <laughs> Hi. How'd you get in here? Not that you really don't know, but... Cool. Two squid. Awesome. Now that's interesting. I wonder where they spawned. I thought they needed something specific to spawn on, or is it that they spawn in the water itself? Hmm. I'm sure someone out there knows the answer. Something I forgot to mention about this torch. I don't remember if I updated the signs in Resurrection Station, so for those of you who have been keeping track of my death count, when we head back over to Resurrection Station in the future, if you could let me know if there seems to be a I'm an idiot death counter missing, that would be very helpful to me. I'm pretty sure I updated it as soon as I respawned, but I can't be positive, as it may have been another situation where I was trying to run back and get the items before they despawned, considering how far I seem to be from everything. So, I think that's about all I wanted to cover now. I do want to kind of give you guys a warning. If you haven't already figured it out, this is probably going to be a lot of talking in this episode and probably the next, depending on how long I've been recording so far. Wow, that's bright. Is that the sun setting? Whoa. That's cool. And bright, as I said. Well, go ahead and leave the diamonds up here for now. I should be safe enough. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you guys this. It's actually looking really cool now. Yeah. And something else that, as I was looking at all the videos that I had recorded last set, I thought that when I was running around showing you stuff with my mouse, that that was actually visible. But apparently getting my mouse to show up using the alt trick was actually causing Fraps to not pick that up because Fraps was only recording what was showing up in Minecraft and the mouse was outside of Minecraft, so... Hopefully I have taken the time to at least edit in some circles to point at you the areas I was talking about in those episodes. If I haven't, I apologize, and I know in the future not to try and pull that off anymore, because that's what I was trying to do at those times, was point out some specific things on the map. But yeah, that was actually a lot of fun last episode, and ended up walking away with eight new pumpkins in all that little bit of exploring we did in just, just our little region here. And I guess now might be a good time to go ahead and make a bit of a confession. When I said that I had completely mined out the sand pit and there was nothing left so there was no reason to continue, well, that, that was true. What I didn't tell you was I put it all in here. <laughs> I just really wanted an excuse to go exploring, so I hope you guys forgive me. That, that was a lot of fun for me, and I had not been exploring in this game for a long time, and... Finally getting around to do it on my own terms was a lot of fun. But, as I was trying to allude to earlier, I believe this is a good time to go ahead and swap into our lab world and check out the things that I have been working on. 